So, Mr. Sharma, Group 4 has been in India how many years? 30 plus years? Yes, yes, Sanarag, we have been in the country for about 30 plus years now. Yeah. So, tell us, you're a very large player and tell us uh, your opening comments on where the sector is headed, what uh, you expect from the government, how your customers are dealing with it, how your employees are dealing with it. First of all, thank you, uh, Anurag, for taking this initiative of organizing this webinar on the outsourced professional services. And thank you so much for inviting the three large players of the industry today on this webinar to share our views about the industry and about the COVID situation in the country. As uh, Ritura said, you know, uh, largely the views would echo with what Ratura said because we all work in the same environment. You know, we are not operating in different markets, different environments. So uh, my sense is uh, what Ritura said, we are a 100,000 crore industry. Uh, we have almost close to about uh, 10 million people who are working in this industry uh, across the country. And uh, because of this current situation, because of the uh, I think the lockdown situation and the lockdown scenario are across the country. I think more and more uh, residents of this country are realizing the importance of people uh, who are part of the security industry and part of the facility services and and sanitization uh, work that they undertake. Hygiene. Hygiene. Because uh, normally a security guard was always view, viewed as a person, you know, who is basically doing their standing, doing a particular job in terms of opening the gate and closing the gate. And uh, he was not treated or felt as if he could do something beyond that. Sure. But COVID has definitely, you know, changed this entire perception of security personnel in the country because now the people who are staying in the societies, in the RWAs, they are so dependent on the entry and exit of every individual in the particular RWA and society. Sure. And they rely so heavily on the expertise of the security personnel to allow or disallow a person to come inside the society and the premises to safeguard everybody else who is staying within the premises. Adding to that, I think uh, the cleaning services have also played a very, very important role because every individual, every resident of the country today realizes it's the hygiene, the cleanliness. I think which is going to keep us safe from this disease and the spread of COVID-19. Uh, as far as the government is concerned, I think I will leave it to Rituraj to head it because Rituraj is the, the chair for uh, private security industry on Fiki. And he is uh, doing a good job in terms of uh, working with the government, taking initiative with the Ministry of Home Affairs as well as Ministry of Finance and Labor and, and trying to see what best support we can get from the government and uh, I think uh, as the as the chair on Piki, I, I fully support him for for the for the work that he's doing, and I stand by him in terms of uh, you know working together with him and taking taking the good work that he's doing ahead with the government. Uh, we haven't heard anything from the government except for one thing which happened, which was very very critical for us to continue delivering our services. Uh, we were categorized under the essential services by the MHA. I think which helped the industry a lot, and not only the industry, I would say it helped every user of these services to a very large extent because we were able to move around and, and deliver the services what every citizen of the country was looking forward to during these times. In terms of customers, every, every customer of our, ours today is going through the similar kind of problem. I think they have their own challenges in terms of their own offices, their own uh, establishments. And wherever they are operating, wherever they are operating in whatever circumstances, I think the biggest cause of concern for all of our clients on the other side is how can they keep their employees safe? How can they keep their establishments sanitized? And that's where uh, their expectations from services like what we offer, the outsourced professional services, I think the expectations are increasing because Sanitization is something which is, is just coming up in a big, big way now, uh, which uh, was not something which was of, of that importance, I think, prior to COVID-19. My sense is going forward, uh, we will definitely see some more challenges in the industry. But I think collectively and uh, together, if we, if we all stay together, come together to fight COVID-19, I think we'll have uh, a 
very very easy easy exit from this this problem and i think we'll all collectively we emerge out winners i want to ask you a specific question rajiv uh, has your business seen uh, degrowth if yes by how much and how are you dealing with that and what are your customers saying to you give us some examples that's a very very important question anurag and uh, to be very honest with you as of today i think every customer of ours uh, is is very appreciative of the work that people are doing in the industry today and with the government also uh, you know requesting every every employer in the country today to ensure that the the workers the minimum minimum wage workers are taken care of their employment is protected and their wages are protected so uh, in that context we haven't seen any uh, reduction in our revenues because most of our customers i would say large part of our customers have been extremely cooperative and very sensitive to the requirement of the sector and the workers and they are very happy in in giving us and allowing us uh, the full comp- full complement of the strength and the wages for for the full uh, complement which they required or which was working with them prior to covid 19 so as of today at g4s uh, we haven't experienced any kind of reduction in the services any kind of reduction in the revenues any loss of jobs we have not seen it uh, until today for the future uh, it's very unpredictable so i would not be able to comment how the future looks like we will see as we as we as we, as we cross that path okay it's a good so you are saying uh, the the mall owners uh, the cinema owners uh, who are shut down the retail establishments are shut down they have not resorted to uh, a fee cut with you as of now i am saying that they have been very very considerate and i think they are aligned with what government is encouraging the employers to take care of the workers their employment right and most of our i would say almost all of our clients are very very supportive as of now uh, how what happens how it shapes up once probably the lockdown gets lifted once we move forward is something you know we'll only get to know once we get there there is one of the question that i'm collapsing the question is it's okay you three are very large firms what should small and medium sized firms which are 1/10 100 of your turnovers do how do they get funding in the short term so this is a question that four or five uh, people have asked uh, uh, i'd like rajiv to respond to it and then we can go to manjit ji and rithura what should small service providers do thanks anurag i think uh, uh, this is a very valid concern of the, the medium and small uh, enterprises in the country today and uh, when companies of our size can possibly visualize the impact on the cash flows in the future uh, i can understand very well the the kind of situation that the small companies would be in probably sooner than later in terms of uh, their inability to meet the cash flow requirements because of uh, the economic slowdown in the country uh, that's the reason if you if i if i reflect back on what rithura said uh, his five agenda demand with the government i think one of the demands was basically to uh, treat the the sector under the priority lending sector from the, the banks uh, perspective so what happens is uh, banks uh, on some special terms they start giving working capital loans to the small and medium enterprises for them to you know pass through this particular period uh, which is a period of duress and this is a period where uh, we are all yeah, and that's one of the demands to sec- uh, to label your sector as a priority sector and Lending. one of the requests that you made yeah, to the so, so that's, where, that's where you know his five point demand has one of these uh, demand to pay, to support the industry and especially the msmes where uh, we can understand that they must be expecting a lot of uh, cash flow challenges so uh, i'm sure i'm sure i think and government anyway has taken some already decisions in terms of uh, supporting with the provident fund for you know the the employers which have got less than 100 employees currently working with them so uh, one of the other parts Uh, the points where ritraj was talking to the finance department ministry and the the commerce ministry was you know to extend this uh, provident fund support to the other organization to the larger organizations as well instead of restricting it to only um, employers with uh, less than 100 employees and 
I think the other point which was there in the, the repensation or the prayer, I would call it the prayer uh, on behalf of the industry which was submitted by Ritaraj as a, as a Fiki chair, uh, was also in, with reference to the subsidy of the wages. So sure, that was the top point. All these initiatives, I think, largely are for the industry. I think uh, to a very large extent, I would say the large companies are somewhat uh, better equipped to handle these situations. But I think this was representation was largely for the industry, <clears throat> so that the industry, you know, gets benefits. benefits at these these uh, special special stimulus from the government. And uh, I am very positive. I'm very positive. I think government is looking at a lot of uh, initiative, and they would be coming out soon with uh, the next set of stimulus package. And we are hopeful that the industry would get definitely some attention from the Honorable Finance Minister in the, in the next uh, release.